Hi, jewelry lovers. It's Cindy, the jewelry nurse. I was not going to do a video this weekend at all, but I was watching Thelma Thrift this morning, and I was just going to concentrate on listing this weekend, but I was watching Thelma Thrift this morning, and she, if you don't know her or if you didn't see that video, um, go check it out. She is really good. I think she's one of the top resellers. Um, on in the community she does really well she has some really good suggestions on how to you know sell stuff on etsy and ebay and poshmark and uh, macari i think she started selling on macari now but it was some really good suggestions this morning she suggested that instead of like trying to lot things because you kind of confuse your buyer they don't know what they're getting there's too many things to look at they can't see the detail you know and it you, you just it's hard to to do it that way but if you take like a necklace like this is a talbot necklace it's marked, it's like 10 strands, um, multi colors of chain, um, and you pair it with like maybe something unmarked, maybe it will sell. Um, the, the buyer is getting two pieces for the same shipping price, and you know, maybe they're willing to pay 15 or $20, you know, if you were 25 or whatever, but by themselves, you probably couldn't really sell it. Like I've had this listed for, seven bucks on etsy for like three weeks and i've had a couple of likes and stuff but nobody's bought it so i thought if i paired it you know maybe i could sell it but what i plan on doing and and that's why this video uh watching hers kind of got me inspired i have a 16 pound box that i got from goodwill and it from the shop goodwill.com and when it came i was really upset because it um was just a jumbled mess. They threw everything in the box. They didn't, you know, secure it. So a lot of things were broken. There was a, just a big bunch of um, tangled chains on the top. And I really couldn't even, you know, unbox it that way. It definitely needed to be untangled. So I had untangled them all already so I could start showing you. But I thought, you know, a lot of these, I can't list these. They will never sell on their own. They just, you know, aren't, they're just not substantial enough on their own. There was some Mark stuff and some silver stuff, which, you know, kind of saved it after I got to looking. There was... You know, some pieces I can probably eventually make my money back. But um, so I thought I would take Thelma's advice. And I have the idea that um, I'm almost at the 100 prescribers. I think I'm around 80 or close to 80. But the purse that I'm going to give away, I, I promised I would put some wearable or sellable jewelry in it. So I thought um, one of the things that I will put in is a pairing just to experiment a little. I'm going to show you about five different looks and um, you can leave me a comment if you would and let me know if you like the pairings, if I'm headed in the right direction, if you absolutely hated all of them. And if you're the winner, you can decide which pairing you liked and I'll include that in the bag. But I'm going to pause. This this is the first one. Like I said, this is like an 80s acrylic um, necklace um, paired with the Talbot. This is unmarked. It has a really cute toggle clasp. I'm going to pause and get the next one. Okay, so this would be the next look. Um, this might be too dark, but I think they're kind of cute together. It's um, the seed beads, like just solid black seed beads. It has a um, strand going through it of, I believe this is um, black coral and silver beads, metal silver beads. It's unmarked, but it, at least if it had a tag, it's gone. But it is really cute, but by itself, I probably wouldn't be able to sell it. But paired with this, you know, I might. So I, I thought that um, those look kind of cute together. So that is choice two. Let me show you the class that's on the first one real quick. It's a um, little flower toggle class, and I believe that's like 80s. Um, so let me pause and go to the next one. This is what I'm going to show you next. I'm going to show you the back, and it's a fairly heavy, um, not super heavy, but fairly heavy. It's in good condition. It's not missing any rhinestones. 
It does have a lobster claw, the chain, the magnet doesn't stick to, and this came from the box that I'm going to show you here. It sticks to the um, chain, but not to the um, to the necklace itself. I think that the, um, yeah, it's not sticking to that. I think the chain is just you know, rhodium plated cheap metal. But um, it is cute, but on its own, probably wouldn't be able to sell it. But maybe if I paired it with something, I could sell it. But this will be look number three yes number three so hold on okay so this is the third look now this is adjustable it you know you can make it longer or shorter but this is the third look i think this is kind of cute together too um and it actually kind of goes with the um dress that i'm wearing today not too matchy matchy but um i think this would work anyways that is the third let's see is that one two yeah third look um, this is going to be, wait a minute, one, two, three, yeah, third look. This is going to be the next one. These are vintage, um, plastic vintage beads that has the, um, vintage clasp. It's not marked, um, doesn't have a designer, but it is marked Hong Kong, so they are fairly old. They're light, they're lightweight, well, not too lightweight, but they're lightweight, and I do like the, um, the black in caps with the the ivory colored pearls i like these since i first saw them but didn't know what i would ever do with them so um i think this actually pairs pretty good with the necklace so hold on a second i'm going to show you that okay so this is the third or fourth look i guess yeah fourth look and i think this is kind of cute together too um you know really good for the office or even you know a night out um, maybe not formal, but a night out. So I think this is kind of cute. Um, I have one more look if I could just figure out. Oh, okay. So this is going to be the last one, and this may not be the best pairing with this. And I am going to take all these chains and stuff that I'm about to show you from this box and ones I already have and do some pairings. And when I come up with some pairings, I'll come back and do another video, and maybe y'all can um, help me out and tell me what you think you know, will work together. But, you know, we get a lot of these in the box and, you know, by themselves, I don't think they sell all that well, but if you paired this with the right chains or right beads or something, it might sell. So this has, it's not marked. I do get some of these that are marked, but this particular one isn't. It has a lobster claw. Uh, so I'm going to pause now and show you this one. Okay, so this is the fifth one, so just leave me a comment, let me know which one you like the best, and then we'll get on to the jewelry jarring, unjarring, I mean the unboxing for this box. Like I said, it had a lot of necklaces on the top that were totally tangled, so one of the first things I'm going to show you, my husband actually found this in the box. Um, it had two, so these, some of the things I found kind of redeemed it. Um, but it had two Pandora bracelets, and I've checked them out. They are legitimately Pandora. It had two of them. This one has three um, silver charms on it. They're 925. Um, the first one is a K, and yeah, and it's marked 925 right there on the end. Don't want to take them all off, but it is marked at that end. Yeah, it is marked 925. And all three of these are 925. And then this one, an A, it's also marked. And then this just says love. And it has some pink enameling. And let's see. I think, well, I know it had the rhinestone the other day. So I think it might have had a little rhinestone or a little crystal in the O that fell out. But not a big deal. Okay, so, and this is the second one. This one is really tiny, so I think it might be a little girl's because I am, I've got like a six and a quarter. I got a fairly small wrist, and this is too small for me. You can't fasten it. But this one has at least four that are marked, and the other ones I could not find marks on. They have a maker's mark, but I couldn't find a silver mark on them, so I'll check those out later, but um, I'll go through them really quickly. Um, it has a cupcake. It has some spacer beads. Um, and let's see. It has 
a cowboy boot, the letters A and E, and then a turtle. And this one is Mark 925. It's a little pink baby shoe. It's enameled. It's really cute. It's adorable. And then this one, I'll this charm I'll probably keep because my husband's Irish, so I like to honor his Irish heritage. And that is enameled on both sides. They look like they could be silver, at least silver plated, but some of them are. This one's actually marked 925, and that looks blue, but it's actually green. And um, more space. I know the spacers definitely aren't because the um, copper is coming through on those. And then a peach, which is really cute. And then like a mortar for graduation type mortar um, enameled. And let's see what's next. Um, that's the the this one is marked 925, and it is just a cute shaped bead and it says um, best friends on it I think one of those other ones on the other one said best friends too but it says best friends and then this that looks like just a blue topaz and let's see where did we leave off lost track okay so the blue topaz and then a road runner and a shoe cute shoe I don't know what brand they are but I'll figure it out and then a megaphone for like cheerleading and it says cheer on it and this one is marked 925 it's a little princess crown and it says something princess on the top there I don't remember exactly what it says and then I think the cupcakes where I started maybe cupcake and this is little pink probably tourmaline um, pave set and this one is marked 925 I think yeah there were four total on here that were 925 so that you know even if all of those are not um, Pandora charms you know it's still you know fully loaded that's that's a good deal there so that kind of saved that and there was some other 925 there's you know I haven't gotten through the whole box yet but this is another 925 that was in there. It is just a skinny chain, but it's marked, um, it is marked 925. And the only thing is, is it's broken and I don't think I can fix it, but, um, cause it's just too fine. And then it had this charm on it, which is marked 925 and RJ and 925 marked RJ and then some little symbol in the middle um, but that that's a cute little pendant it's a T and it has actually a diamond little tiny diamond in there maybe a diamond chip so that was cute and let's start with some of the longer necklaces well this is a shorter one it's hanging here so I'll go ahead and do it this is all glass beads it's got um, glass like a lavender color pearls and crystals and then a little silver bead and some um, glass cat's eye beads so this is kind of cute but it and it has I think I saw the I think this might be marked no it's not marked just a scratch but the rest of the toggle is in the bottom of the box like I said there was a lot of things I had to put back together so that's actually cute on its own no but if you paired it with something else maybe you could actually list it and sell it um, and then just some glass um, faux pearls they are glass they're not plastic and it looks like a mint green there but I mean a like a limey green but it's actually like a soft mint green so that could um, pair somehow and then another unmarked this I think would be great for pairing it is tarnished I know that looks like no that was just a light reflection this one is not tarnished so this would be a good one definitely for pairing this chain never be able to sell it on its own but if I paired it with the right thing so I think Thelma was on to something and here's a similar one this one has a lot of tarnish on it it is not wear, but I probably could, um, it's, it looks like it's, um, bronze, um, and it's not wear, it's just tarnished, so I might be able to clean that one up enough, 
Let me see if the magnet sticks. Yeah, magnet sticks. It's got a bronze look, but I don't think it's actually bronze. Okay, next I have, well, I'll show these together because they're very similar. Um, this one is gold toned and it has actual glass beads on it. Those are all glass and then it has the little pave set um, gold bead there and it has a lobster class. It is not marked anywhere. Uh, let's see if the metal... Nope, so it might be copper. Well, wait a minute. Oh, nope, it's not sticking. It might be um, brass or copper. And next, this one is actually plastic beads, but I don't know about this one. I don't know if there's any way to redeem that one at all. It's got these little fuzzy beads, so they're actually plastic with fuzz on them, so kind of weird. A little bit dirty looking, and they're all plastic, these little disco ball looking things. So that one might be bound for the craft thing, which I give to my daughter-in-law. And then next, this one is missing a rhinestone. It is fairly heavy metal. Let me see. You know, it sticks, but it is fairly heavy, some kind of pot metal. But, um... Yeah, I don't know if you could save that one at all. The rhinestones are probably in the bottom because there's a lot of rhinestones and stuff in the bottom, which reminds me that another thing that was in there that I absolutely love is this brooch. Um, this brooch is made by a company called Miracle, and these are all different types of agate. Um, I think that's a, a lime, not lime, but lemon um, jade and a cornelian and not sure what this gray one is the the one that it's missing and it breaks my heart that it's missing um because this company um is started in 1948 and it's not copywritten so i'm pretty sure it's from prior to 19 and the um 1955 i think this is actually late 40s I saw some similar ones, but I think it's a black and white, like a black stone with white stripes that is missing. So if it is not in the box, my daughter-in-law's father does cabochon, so maybe I can get him to make me a cabochon because I really want to save, rescue this brooch. It would be a shame to let this one go. And I, it's it's just really pretty. I don't know if it's silver. It is not marked, but I'll test it. I know they did use a lot of silver, but it is a company from England, and I believe this is one of their Celtic designs, so this would be a shame to let that go, so I'm hoping I can save it. Really want to save that one. Okay, so next I have... Um, Pro, I'm, like I said, this is going to be probably at least four parts getting through this box because I haven't even dented the box yet. Okay, so next, this on its own. It's not marked. It wouldn't sell. It does have real crystal beads on it. It's gold tone and, and then the pink chain, but I think paired maybe with some beads or something. I might get a few bucks out of that, so I'll try it. Um, when I get the listings together and see if I can find something to pair with that. And then this um, silver chain looks rhodium plated. Looks like either a CZ or a crystal. It um, The chain is, well, let's see. Nope, it's not sticking. The chain is um, actually a fairly nice chain, but I'm, I don't think it's silver. It is not marked that I can see. No, but it is a decent chain, but I don't know about this stone. Probably scrap the stone. Um, you know, this maybe put a better pendant on it, or again, try and pair it with something else. Okay, and then this next one would be great for pairing. These are wood beads, and um, these are glass. I, I thought they were like acrylic, but they're actually glass beads, and it looks like somebody made this. Um, it's kind of well, a little tight, 
So I have to see if I can adjust that. But this would be really good paired with something. This would be a nice pairing piece, I think. It, it's it's substantial weight and um, it does have nice wood beads on it. Um, next, this one really surprised me. Believe it or not, this is Monet. I have never seen any Monet in this color. It's it's not sticking. I'm not really sure what metal this is made out of. Angie, if you have seen this one, let me know. But it does have a Monet tag on it. Um, you know, I don't know why anybody would fake Monet, but who knows. Um, this was in the box, so, you know, I don't. it looks like they were trying to sell it for... I guess that's four dollars. Thought it was seven, but four dollars. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of unusual. I have never seen Monet in that color. I've seen silver, which is kind of rare. And even um, Angie doesn't have as much silver as she does gold. So if you've seen that, Angie, if you're watching and you've ever seen this piece before, let me know. But this would be great for pairing for sure. Um you know, on its own, unless a collector was looking for it, it, you know, it probably wouldn't sell for that much, but paired with something. Now this, um, the pendant, well, I guess you could call it that, the pendant would be nice to, um, put on another chain and maybe pair, but this, um, chain is, like, really worn out. You can actually see the copper, um, so yeah, not, no, it's not even copper, it's a, probably some kind of alloy mixed with copper to give it that color, but something that's magnetic. And these actually do have wear on them, but you really can't tell with those. They look like they're supposed to be that way. So maybe I could put that with another chain and do some pairing there. This actually had a Made in India tag on it. They're just plastic beads with um, seed beads. You can actually see the seam. And by themselves, you would never, ever be able to sell this. I mean, who would buy it, right? Well, maybe somebody would, but, you know, it'd be a waste of time listing it. What would you sell it for? A couple of bucks? So um, pair that with something, you know, maybe. Maybe it stands a chance that way. Um, showing you most of the longer necklaces first so that I can... Uh, Put them back on the neck because I don't know. I'm trying not to get everything tangled. I think I just lost one there, but no biggie. Um, okay, I missed this one. This would be great for pairing. It has no wear on it. It's black and silver. Um, and the back looks like that. But it doesn't have any wear. I'm not really sure about this chain. But um, this would be great for pairing too. And it is unmarked, so... Another one of those you probably couldn't sell on your on its own. So that would be really good to try and pair. And it does have good weight too, like I said. So it, it is substantial. Um, and then just some glass blue beads that would be... Um, I hope if I can get them. I'm trying really to avoid. I've I had to untangle these chains a couple of times because I didn't store them right. So don't want to go there again. Then some glass um, plastic beads, and I'm going to try and cut this at a half hour, and then, um, not glass plastic, did I say glass plastic? Sometimes I swear, I do not, my mouth goes faster than my brain, but um, just clear blue glass beads, so they would be great for pairing, for sure. A couple of strands of beads and some type of pendant or something or chain and you know whatever but um like i said i'm going to get together some pairings and then do a video and you guys can tell me what you think if you think they would sell or not sell or you know just be brutally honest oh no that sucks try again whatever <laughs> just be honest don't be brutal but be honest i mean don't be rude but be honest Okay, so these are stuck again. See, I just cannot keep these chains. There were so many chains in that box. It should have said chains and junk, but it was actually advertised as a fashion jewelry lot. And it had, um, well, I think the bid got up to uh, like 
40 something dollars and with shipping and handling and everything it was almost 70 something dollars so i'm like really so upset when it came that i actually emailed them because i had you know like six more packages on the way and i'm like oh my god are they all going to be a mess like that but they weren't they were all packaged nice and professional and that this one came from a different um goodwill than the other ones did three of the boxes i got actually came from the same goodwill in somewhere in ohio i don't remember where this one came from i think texas or something but not sure where in texas anyways i've got these tangled again so i'll just show it to you this way um this is lightweight chain but it's got actually glass beads. It's got some um, crystal, like, cognac colored beads. And this one's kind of cool. I don't know what this is made out of, but it almost looks like petrified wood. It feels like glass or ceramic or something. It's not um, wood, but it looks like wood, so it might be, like, made out of petrified wood. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a pairing on that one. And then this, this I think it was broken, and these are plastic beads. So this one, yeah, not much hope for this one. It's all plastic beads. But anyways, um, I'll untangle it later. So there we go on that one. So that was most of the longer ones. So let me move over to some of the shorter chains. I've got this thing, which this was included in the box too. Um, it's a woman and so it'd be kind of cute for a display but it's not jewelry and it was in there it's kind of like a rod iron thing so let me start on this end um oh lord these are getting all tangled again it's just so hard to keep these i mean what do you do with this many necklaces it's hard to keep it from tangling Okay, so I'm going to show this one first because I thought this is kind of cool that I actually ended up with two of these. Not in the same box, but um, one came in another jar or something, and one came in this box. This, These are actually marked um, NWT. So NWT, and you can Google this and get more information, but I know a lot of people find them marked, but the little tag there marked NWT, and they think it's Avon, but it's not actually Avon. It stands for Northwest Territories, and it's just a guarantee that um, it's like a bunch of different, it's like an artist community, and it's just a guarantee that what you're getting is authentic. So ended up with two of those and they're both in good condition this one's missing the extender but it does have the tag so yeah um cute pendant so like filigree pendant and it's got an open back and a blue glass cabochon and these beads are a combination of glass and acrylic so i don't know maybe maybe they'll sell and it's that coated wire like the twisted coated wire so maybe that will sell we'll see Got two of them, so I hope they sell. And then this next actually was another thing that helped to redeem this um, wretched box. These are both marked 925 on the... Um, they're both marked 925, and I did test them. The whole chain is... These are Aurora Borealis crystals, and is the necklace and the bracelet. The bracelet has got some chips on the crystal, so I might replace the crystals. I think I might actually have another heart crystal really similar to this. But, yeah, they're both, you know, it's pretty substantial um, sterling on this. They're, the weight is pretty good. So, you know, I thought that was nice. So, some sterling. Another redeeming. I've got quite a bit of sterling in this box so far, you know, what I've gone through. And let's see. What do I got here? Now this kind of crazy. It's got this really cute little bird on the chain, and it even has some like rhinestone in the eyes. But then it has this like skull on it, and it's plastic. So <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't come off, so I don't know if that came with the necklace. But kind of funny. 
Yeah, the chain is kind of a bronze color. Yeah, it's kind of a bronze color on the chain, and it's not wear. I mean, that's actually the color, but it's a cute chain. I just don't know about this pendant. I'd probably put something else on the chain, but cute chain. Let me get a drink. My mouth gets so dry when I do these videos. So sorry. I know I do like this weird thing with my mouth, and I'm trying to stop doing that while I'm filming. Um, then next I have this, um, why do I keep saying next, next, sorry about that. This is Lobster Claw, and it is marked, um, Premier Designs, and this is pretty heavy, substantial chain. This would definitely be a good one for pairing with some beads or something. Um, I have quite a few pieces of Premier Design. I get a lot of it in this area for some reason, but, um, it is really good, jewelry it's not silver but it has good weight and it is a decent metal you know like yeah every piece of premier design i've had i've gotten is substantial they look like you know the real thing i've not tested it so i don't really think it is but they look like and this has a really cute chain on it it's lightweight but it's a really cute um chain and it, there is a name for this i just can't remember what it is and it just has a plain silver um like teardrop and it is not marked anywhere that i can see um you know i will test these because you know i could have lost a tag or something so i'll i'll test some of the unmarked stuff but it really does look rhodium plated um let's see what do we have next Okay, then this is not marked lobster claw. It has the um, leather cord, and it is a fairly heavy, substantial charm. It has an L just on a um, disc, round disc, and there are no rhinestones missing. Um, are starting to tangle on here again darn and guess what the culprit is these stupid yeah have to try and god i hate these things why did i even put that on there they always get tangled up they always cause a problem this one's a cute one though for crystal i think this will go to crystal i am making a box for crystal so let me undo it and see if I can get it. Oh, I thought that tag was for that, but there's tags for something else. Let me see if I can just, yeah, maybe that'll help me get it out of there. Oh my God, I'm so sick of these tangled necklaces. I'm starting to get frustrated. That's why I wanted to hurry up and get them out of the box and you know, just do it. Okay, I'm going to have to do it that way. Okay, this is... has an A-E on it, and I don't... Most of the American Eagle Outfitters stuff that I've had is A-E-O, but this has a similar A-E, so I don't know if this is... American Outfitters or not if you've seen that let me know but it's um, like a suede cord and a floating heart it is unmarked I mean you know as far as 925 I don't think it's 925 it's not sticking but um, it's too silver so I'm pretty sure that's not sterling um, good lord I'm so sick of these chains Okay, so this next one is 925. Let me hang those there so they don't tangle even more. This is marked 925, and it looks like a toggle, but it really isn't a toggle clasp. And it has a heart with pave set stones. I suspect they might be diamond chips, and it's pretty substantial locket. It's nice weight, and both the 
the locket and the chain, and they're all one piece, are marked 925. I've noticed that a lot of the 925 lobster clasps have this shape. They're kind of long and cylindrical. So when you see those, most of the time, that particular shape, they are 925. So another 925, little key and heart, and um, cute chain. This, oh, it's got a knot in it. i got to get that out. But this chain right here, um, I remember this kind of a link from when I was a little young. I mean, this link here. I've seen this link a lot on chains and stuff growing up. So, yeah, that's really cute. So that, you know, that would probably sell on its own as well the you know the silver um necklace and bracelet set those will probably sell on their own ay 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 how did i do this okay so maybe if here <laughs> got one loose got two loose okay so this is just an a it's on a fairly decent chain it's really like the has oh actually it's marked with something let me see what it says it's Avon Avon actually has some cute stuff just a little A with a red and it's not even stone this red enameling so that's kind of cute that'll probably um, I don't even know anybody with an A there's a lot of A jewelry in here did you notice that um, that one probably good crystal. She don't care if it what the alphabet is. She'll she'll wear it. She's my baby. She just gets so excited when she um, goes in and reads the comments. If somebody leaves a comment about her, she just gets so excited. She's funny. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go a few more minutes, then I'm going to um, stop this and do a second part tomorrow because it is getting late. And this is all tangled. Okay, so next, I believe this is Claire's, but it's cute for Claire's. And it has, it's on a silver Figueroa chain. And now this, this might work as a pairing too. On its own, no. I mean... You know, you can go to the mall and buy Claire's for practically nothing, at least for a while, till they go out of business. You can go and buy, you know, Claire's pretty reasonable for 10 bucks. You can get a couple of, you know, decent pairs of earrings and stuff there. So, okay, so this has, it's a double chain. It's Mark Claire's. It has a bird cage and a bird, kind of cute. And the crystals are still in the eyes. So this might look really cute paired with something else. And then this looks like it could be silver. There's the back of it. It is this little design. Um. Uh, nothing in particular, just sort of uh, like leave kind of design. It's cute though. It looks silver. Let me see. <clears throat> it leaves silver plated. Oh, it's dirty. Ugh. Dang, it's ama amazing the dirt that you can see with these. Um, when you magnify these things with the loop. Yeah, I don't see any markings, but that does look silver. Let me check the chain. It's got a knot in it, of course. I gave up on knots. It does have a vintage spring class, so I'll check that one because the pendant looks silver. Okay, so where are we at here? Okay. Ugh. It's falling everywhere. I don't know if some of this is even worth looking at, but this is definitely one for Crystal, too. I hate these wire things. They just, ugh, they tangle with everything. But this is actually kind of cute. It has, um, 
And I think it's triple, double, or triple strand. It's a triple strand, which makes it even more ferocious with your other jewelry. It's got, um, I'm not going to try and untangle it, but it's got uh, baby blues, baby pink, and a kind of a peridot green. And let's see if it's marked. It is not marked. Kind of shiny. Oh, wait a minute. I take that back. It is marked. Hold on. Probably says made in China, but let me see. I do see a marking that I missed earlier. Avon. Okay, of course, Avon. Yeah, at least it could be Avon 925 or Avon Sterling. Wait a minute, does that say Avon? Oh, hold on. Maybe not. Oh, no, it does say Avon. Okay, so that's cute. Crystal will get that one. It'll go in Crystal's um, bag. I'm starting for her. She's going to do her own unjuring. So I'm not putting that with everything else. Uh, okay, then another... Oh, nope, already showed that one. Another um, leather cross... No, nah, it's just a cheapie. Got that silver look, but it doesn't feel like silver, so cheapy. Okay, so I already showed that one. And it's another cheapy ball and chain necklace. They are they are um metal. But it is not marked, so I think it's just cheap. Yep. Oh, sorry. And like I said, there was a lot of broken stuff in there. Now, this might have been cute if it wasn't broken, but that bead is broken. I do have a green one like this I can replace it with because this might be cute for layering um, if I can replace that bead. It's all glass beads. It's not plastic beads. It is unmarked, though, but... Um, yeah, that might be good for layering. Okay, so... Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to finish off the next few and then stop. See, there's a lot of broken stuff like this. Now, this is heavy. So, and it's gold tone, kind of a hammered look. But whatever was in the middle is missing. So, I don't know what was in the middle. It's not marked, so even if I found it... I mean, there's holes there, so you could technically, you know, I could put it in the craft lot and she can mess with it. So I'm not sure what what that is, but it's going into the bead bag right now. Ay, ay, ay. And then some faux lightweight pearls. Um, this looks like it's going in the craft lot too. Um, yeah, I don't even think that's worth pairing. It's kind of short, so craft lot. Um, sorry, I keep reaching down there, but every time I pull something off, I knock it off. Now this, I'm not even going to bother to untangle because it's broken, but it actually has real button pearls. They are real pearls um, on there, and these are probably CZs, maybe. This on a, um, they always put that cheap looking extender the chain itself looks silver but the extender definitely does not um so i'll check the chain and see if it is 925 and put it with my scrap and i'll take off those um, beads and use those beads for something else and you know, my daughter-in-law can use those so yeah they are nice though they are, it's crazy that they put those real pearls with, you know, on such a, well, maybe it is silver, like I said. Must be, but, you know, I don't know. The, the class definitely isn't. So, then this is the gunmetal. I don't think it's titanium. It just looks like gunmetal. And lock it, unmarked. Not super lightweight, but lightweight. So, 
Yep, there you go. That's another one for Miss Crystal. She'll love that. Um, now this would be good for pairing. These are definitely vintage. Um, they are glass, actually. They look, they're kind of an amber cognac color. And then the solid, almost bone-looking beads. But this would be good, definitely, for um, layering. It's kind of, kind of nice colors. So, yep, that's a good layering one. And then the deep turtle. This is actually a nice one of these. You know, you get those little pendants with the um, mother of pearl. But this is actually a nice one. It has a nice like filigree bell and it's an open back and it's thicker and it has um, the abalone and I believe the chain was marked on this one maybe not let me check the chain out I think the chain was actually marked on this yeah the chain says um, 8 carat 8 carat RG rolled gold is what that means. So it's kind of like, um, has more gold than um, plating. And so it's sort of like um, gold filled. I think they said like for gold, rolled gold, it's like 15 to $20 a pound for rolled gold. So obviously not expensive, but you can sell rolled gold. So there you go. Okay, so another one, and I think this one was marked. Yeah, this is American Eagle Outfitters. And it is just a chain with, actually this one kind of has a cute um, different um, extender. But it's just beads, and it has... Huh, I guess that's string. I guess those are strung together. And yeah, kind of plain, but you know, there you go. Another locket. I'm going to stop this video because we're getting at 46 minutes. Just a cheap locket. But a really cool chain, though. I like the chain. Sort of a fancy snake chain, like a round chain. It's lightweight, but it, it is a cool looking chain and it's made well. Okay, so let's see one more piece that I have on here. Anything I want to show you? Um, oh, yeah, this I do want to show you this because this is really cool and I haven't tested this yet, but I think this might be silver. This is definitely vintage. It's would definitely be a good one for layering and it has um, kind of a fancy I don't think that's herringbone but it's close to herringbone but it's kind of and it's got three different rings for the lobster I mean for the um, toggle so this one's kind of cool looking I like this I might actually wear this one it's got a lot of tarnish on it so it is definitely either silver or silver plated. I will um, test this and see. I'm not seeing a 925, but that doesn't mean anything. It could be artisan made, which kind of looks like it. It has agates, I mean, um, faceted agate beads. And these are, these are all glass beads on here. And this is kind of cool. And then it's connected with box chain. So that's kind of unusual. So I think I will um, definitely check that one out. That will definitely be good for pairing or just cute to wear. I like the um, the three different toggles. That's kind of unusual. It's kind of cute. So that one I will definitely um, probably maybe keep. Okay, so this is the last one I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to end it for tonight. And... Let's see, what have I got here? I'm going to end it for tonight, and then I will make...
make another video maybe tomorrow a uh, part two and i'll start uploading this one tonight okay so this is a stone necklace so it's the last one i'm going to show you well maybe i lied I have one more that's really cute that I want to show you. That'll be great for pairing. Okay, so first the stone one. Um, this has a really long extender, so for that reason it would also be good for pairing. But it's all connected with a like twisted cobra, twisted cobra chain, and they're all um, these are faceted glass, and then it has stones. And this looks like maybe red. No, it's not red jasper. These are some kind of glass beads because they're white in the center. And, you know, sometimes glass beads have a white core and then they layer around it. So they're all glass. They're glass and stone, but that's kind of, um, so that's a fairly substantial. So that would be, I mean, it's heavy. So it would be a good one for layering too. Okay, so let me clear that out. Oh, yeah, one more of it would be perfect for layering. Let me show you this one real quick. This would be the perfect for layering. It It's not marked, and it has a little bit of everything here. It, oh, wait a minute. I take it back. It is marked. I don't know if I showed you this earlier, but, and if I did, I apologize, but I have several necklaces with this um this mark and i can't make it out so if y'all rec <coughs> excuse me <coughs> if y'all recognize that my throat's getting so dry from talking if y'all recognize that mark let me know i don't know did i show you the other one this one here uh, where to go um uh, I don't know where it went, but there, there was another pink shell necklace sort of like this that has the same mark. So I don't know what that mark is. If somebody could tell me so I could research it, but this is really cool. Um, a long strand of beads, not more chains, but a long strand of beads with this. It's got um, A, B, and several different kinds of chain. It's got different kinds of beads. These almost look like, um, no, nah, they're not. But yeah, seed beads and crystals and chains. So that one is really cool. And that's, that's a fairly heavy necklace. So I think that one would look really cool layered. So, yep. So there you go. Um, put that back on the stand. So I think I haven't done too far so bad with this, you know. Oh, yeah, and this one. This is really cool, too. I think this one would be perfect for layering, too. It, it has that silver look. It's tarnished. I don't think it's silver. I'll check it because it's not marked, but that would be really cool layered, too. So I probably wouldn't be able to sell it on its own, but it's just unusual enough that if I layer it, I probably can sell it. Looks like it needs a new lobster class. It's not marked, but I don't see 925 anywhere, but I have thought that before and tested it, and it was. So I'll check it. I don't think it is, but I'll check it. It's probably just rhodium, but that's really cute, and it's heavy. So let me see if the magnet sticks before I run my mouth. Nope. Nope, sticks to the extender, but that's it. So that'll be the last one for tonight. So um, I'm going to pair, you know, get all these combos together and list it. But I'm going to say good night, and I will work on this box again tomorrow. i got to get some listing done this weekend because I actually have a few days off, and I rarely have, you know, a few days in a row off. So um, thank you for watching. And I will talk to everybody the next time. Have a good night. Um, please subscribe and like my video if you would, please. And um, share. Thank you. Hit the bell icon. Good night.